special golf course here in Connecticut, and we're knocking out all of them at 29 states total. I watch out for pedestrians here. Once you get to this nice little hidden gem, a special golf course with 27 holes. We're going to talk about all of it. History and what Elm Ridge has to offer to you if you were thinking about playing it. Or maybe you're just interested in traveling along and slamming on that gas like we do. And then another the state are? around the world. The blue tees? The blue tee boxes? And we're going to start off on the blue course here. Mm. Oh, I don't know if I like these rental clubs. They look like they suck. No wedges. No sand wedge, so I got a pitching wedge. Of course, that has pretty unique bunkers in the fairway so far. This is the first hole. We're here at Elm Ridge Golf Club. There's a total of 27 holes currently. But they built nine and they built nine again. That's one of these type of courses. And they threw another nine on there because they like golf so much. It was inherited by the family, originally a farm that this land sat on. But right now, I think the grandsons or the sons got the golf buck. So let's take a look at this course. And with three different golf clubs to choose from. Or maybe you just clicked on this video because it's near the Foxwood Casino and you gotta convince some of your friends you gotta play some golf out this way. And this probably is the course that you wanna push towards them on getting out there and play. There's 27 holes, you can't go wrong. There's always a tee time here at this course. We stuck out on the blue course and you can see right off the bat, it feels blue with that lake right on the side or pond, whatever you wanna call. Play for the back tees here. It stretches nice and long. We're gonna cut and slice those yardage based on you know, what front, back nine you played. I, I don't even know it's even that important of the, of the footage. But you can see right off the bat, these put interesting. And some of the tee boxes are pretty far back, as you can see. Everything's going to be honest about this video, just like the Golf Channel. We're sneaking through each one of these dates and playing as much golf as we want and as much as golf as we can with the resources that are in front of us. And most importantly, we're trying to increase those resources and decrease the golf score as much as we can and run through as much golf states as possible. And here at 29, it's insane that we've made this. A total of 29 states completed after we finish this one in Connecticut. 27 holes. This one's a strong dog leg left. More importantly, it's a strong local course that feels like, you know, you almost... Uh, a member of the area maybe you just walked over one would say but at this course here with all nine holes different ones to choose from you can also find yourself flying through the golf course it's only the first time i passed four groups on nine holes it was an insane record i didn't really get the footage of it because sometimes i don't want to be respectful to other people on the course when i'm filming more importantly, it's just my golf channel. I don't want to put other people on the spot. It's not why you're on the channel. You're here to see the course. You don't even barely want to see me, but you, sometimes the ball flight is fun to look at. And okay, let's talk about the rating of this course, what it looks like independent to other golf channels. Google ratings of 161. It's a four out of five. That's strong. That's independent. It's got a lot of reviews. Now, when you move over to golf now, it's got 175, a little bit more with a 3.8. It kind of drops it down, if you notice. And then you go on to golf now, it's got a 3. Point, no, 4. 3.4. So it drops down a little bit even more on golf now. I don't know. We're going to talk about my rating on this golf course. Sometimes when you get to these new states and you play, hey, you're so excited. It has to be very high on the rating. On this course, it felt enjoyable didn't seem like a hard course at all you don't even need to hit drivers some of it was elevated and with a slope of 115 it didn't really feel like that it, and I might be off there some of the holes were kind of flat as you can see right here I didn't think it was that challenging with the rating of 70.9 on the scorecard and going back to 6,350 yards from this back tees which we primarily did play on this course the footage that you're seeing is white and the blue course now we moved into the blue course so a little bit different i enjoyed the blue much more and then there also is the red course which we will talk about in just a second all of it has bent grass greens 
and putting surfaces. The putting surfaces were fun. There's nothing wrong with them. It's open year round. And the Goff Architect's an interesting one. Built in 1966 by Carlos. Car. Not Carlos. Charles Rustica. A big difference there. And they just keep patching on more here. He's also built the River Ridge Golf Course in, in Connecticut as well. So he's built two courses. Unfortunately, passed away in 2013. Doing a little bit of research. He was built with his brother, Joseph. And uh, he was also a former member of the Golf Course Superintendent Association. He retired in 2006. He enjoys playing golf. He's an avid soldier and a former member of a sailing club. So, and he, you know, there's nothing wrong to say about this course. I believe when I was walking throughout this town, there was a sailing area that, uh, that I walked right by. I didn't get footage of it. More importantly, I got footage of the course that I was excited here to play. If you made it this far, I can't believe it. Sometimes we don't even know what the hell we're talking about here. This is going to do it for this video. Keep a lookout for more. We're just trying to chip around, get more content throughout right now pal i think you should be called the parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par parfessor i love that actually you are oh he's the parfessor he's the parfessor let's go and if you're looking for collaborations try and reach out